Good morning, high friends, fell flyers, Williams. It's the 2023 build off, fly off. Let's stay true to the build. Do not try to fly your 2021 bird dog in the contest. Don't fly one that's already been assembled. This is a beginner contest. So it's a 2021 build. All fly off, so you must be building from the content that comes in the box. Don't order no special lightweight wood. I mean, if you order a kit and it's lightweight, you've done really well, but build with what you got and any modifications you make to the kit. Make sure it's with the wood that comes with the kit. I hope everybody's hearing me fine. I've got this microphone on, and I don't know if I'm talking too loud. Feel free to leave me a comment below that I'm too loud or not loud enough so that everything's working well. This is going to be unedited. This is what you see is what you get. I'm not scripted, so if I say something sort of backwards, let's try to give me some comments and say, Doyle, you said this, you meant this. I don't, I'm, don't, I'm not saying I'm a perfect person. I'm saying... Um, that we want to do our best and try. So, uh, G L W, good Lord willing, that's what that meant. Because if the creek don't rise and everything works out, we are here Monday. Today's Monday, and we're ready to start our build. So, let's don't waste too much time. Let's get right into the build. Okay, I'm going to be making the horizontal and vertical stabilizer with the rudder and elevator. But I have a die cut kit. And for me, I could get a X-Acto knife and hand try to hand cut these out. And that's a pain. So what I like to do is take my printed side, point the printed side up so you, you don't want to lose this. I'm going to take some painter's tape. I'm going to stick some painter's tape on here. Um, make sure I got some, some stick out on either side. All right. I've got some painter's tape on here. I'm going to flip this over. And tape it down. Making sure she's good and secure to the table. I like working on glass. Um, there are a lot of a foam board works fine. Uh, a Silatex works fine, like a ceiling drop ceiling. I'm gonna make sure that I've got this tape good. And then what I'm gonna use is some 80 grit. I got a sandbar here with 80 grit. If you don't have that, you can make your own wooden block. Now what I'm gonna do is just lightly. I'm not putting no pressure really at all the weight of the weight of the sandbar here and i'm just going to lightly sand the back and i'm going to double check it with a little piece i have some scrap wood that's a 130 second thickness so if i go down that deep i want it to be somewhat even cons consistently all the way around so so I, so if I'm taking a whatever size that is, I don't know what size the actual piece is. I'm gonna lightly sand it just a little bit on the back side. I do not want to sand the printed side. Making sure that I don't. Keep the pieces evenly and smooth. This is also taking the weight of the wood off. And be careful. You can break this real easy doing this if you try to put bear down and put a lot of pressure. As you can see, you got the sawdust, the dust coming up here. All right. I don't think I need to go much further than that. I'm just trying to get the little last little layer off. Making sure it feels pretty well the same.
and it does okay i'll lift this up i don't need to go much i just need to go enough to get all the little last little bit of splinters off the back of the die cut piece now i'm going to pull this very steep angle being very gentle here steep angle you can't double use this again so i'll just throw it away and let's see if it pop let's just pop the pieces at the up there they come so we'll pop these pieces out okay looks like i've got the could have went a little bit deeper maybe i'm gonna lay them over in a pile right there and take out all the pieces so I might hit pause right here and just take pop these pieces out. Okay, I wanted to try something. This might be very dangerous. Instead of using tape, I'm going to take the next one. I've done punch the pieces out of the other. One. I'm going to try to gently hold one side and sand part of it. Okay, I've got it flipped over, printed side down. I'm not using painter's tape. This is the first time I've tried this. Do to see if this will work. Being very gentle, not putting much weight on it, but you can see that it's making it's sanding. This is 80 grit sandpaper. <coughs> and I'm trying to be very gentle. <coughs> Excuse me, it's dusty. Being very gentle here. Try not to put too weight, no weight on there, just very gentle. I'm seeing if I could do this. Oh, yeah, starting to come loose now. See, it's starting to peel, come loose. These pieces just want to go with the grain. Don't go sideways. Don't go at any angles. I don't know. I was just ten, testing this to see if it'd be possible. If I would be really gentle. If you don't feel very confident in doing this, don't do it. But I've been working on glass here of nice, perfect, real good flat surface. Hope it's perfectly flat. Glass is usually pretty flat. But I'm trying to stand really slowly. I'm just slightly sand. Not adding too much pressure. Believe it or not, that sand, 80 grit sandpaper cuts pretty good. Look what sand. How much sandpaper there? We'll check it. This is one thirty second thickness. I can feel around it as make sure I'm trying to sand evenly, not rolling off the edges until I'm a little higher in some areas. I'm taking, I think, a 116th. No, this is a 120th stock down to a 132nd, which I don't know if that's, that's not much smaller. It's like a one, what's well, like a 164th. I'm not taking much off at all. <clears throat> Being very careful not to overdo it. Not to press hard. Okay, let's see if that starts releasing the parts. Yep, it's it's already coming off. See how easy that pulled against that? It just popped right off. They're coming out. There's still a few little splinters here. Might have to go around a spot or two. That's the, that was the little areas where the formers go into place. So that's what was holding that. I don't know if my microphone's too loud. I'm trying to talk softer, make sure I'm but still 
to the point people can hear me. I save all my little scraps. I might need that later, but everything seems to be coming out. Well, that one's going to hold a little bit. Got that back piece stuck pretty good. Hope oh, it come out fine. There's the wheel. Save the wheel. And there's all the pieces cut out, popped out of there. So it's working. Let's release the back. A little, little bit left. Start pulling out. This is um hardwood. Looks like it's hardwood or medium, good medium grade wood. It could be lighter, but you get what you get and be thankful and go with it. That's that's all I can do. This is almost like watching paint dry, so I, I'm going to go ahead and hit pause again and pull out. I got one more sheet, so I'm going to go ahead and pop that out. All right, I have all the pieces cut out. I'm checking to see if my microphone's still on. Let's go ahead and release the cowling. The cowling is pretty simple to do. If you have the 80 grit sandpaper or maybe 120, you're just kind of Send it around here on a circle of motion. Cutting it out with a Zacto knife does fine. You can do that to me, but it's a little cleaner. Cut just by doing it this way. Keep it flat. Now, keep in mind, this is a beginner contest, so if you already have other methods, you have other ideas, feel free to share it, you know, feel free to leave your comment. I don't have no problem with other ideas. I like other ideas. We grow from people having different ideas. That's those people that I... Don't yeah, get too jealous. I mean, yeah, we want to be a little jealous of how we do things, but not to the point that it's, uh, that we mean to others. Okay, once this starts getting right at the edge, see how this just comes right out. It's a cleaner. To me, it's clean. Um, that's a clean release. A little noisy. About got it. If you're absolutely a beginner, you'll probably want to watch this. But if you have any experience whatsoever, probably you'll start getting bored really quick. But then a lot of people have a mentality of being bored very easy anyway. That's why the RC models have got to the point that they just about fly themselves. Is people get bored trying to peel on stuff. So, and of course the model industry has commercialized the hobby plumb out of being a craft so i think that it makes some good money while they have an opportunity i guess it's good money anyway see it cleaned right up pretty easy it can be touched up with a little emery board around the edges which I have learned that you can hit the arrow key 
if you have high, um, clicked on the video then you can sort of hit the arrow key the right and left arrow key on your keyboard and it lets you fast forward through some of the video so if you, you're at an area on the video that you really just don't want to watch just click your right or left arrow key on your keyboard and it lets you fast forward on the video a little bit on youtube so as you watch this and you're like i need to speed this little process up then you hit your right or left arrow key one will fast forward and one will back you up there's a little viewers tip if you're viewing the youtube channel okay there is my canopy all out released from the and now the video was me doing the elevator and the rudder. So I do work on glass. Some people work on different things. I'm going to do my elevator first. So I'll stick it right here underneath the glass. Move it straight somehow. All right, and then I'm going to clean the glass a little bit. This is a almost a quarter inch plate glass, safety glass like glass. You want to clean it off, make sure I don't have no humps or bumps or little spots of glue anywhere. Clean, and then I'm going to use a little water with a little isopropyl alcohol mixed with it that way my glute water is hitting around don't get bacteria build up into the water that just sitting around i guess i could get fresh every time but why waste it notice plastic plastic clear wrap just Clean wrap. Get me some plastic clean wrap. That's a lot, but we'll put it down and hopefully we'll can be able to use it for more than one area. Unedited, uncut. What you get is what you get. And I can't back up because it. We've done done what we've done. All I'd be doing is telling about what I've just done. So okay. All right, I need these pieces, and I'll start gluing them down. I guess I should have laid them to the side when I was pulling out the parts. There's one. I'm going to glue those apart for, together first, and then I'm go, uh, going to make them smaller. So that way all the... Because I don't need all that extra wood in the back of the model. So, we'll show you what I'm planning on doing. Together all the pieces first. Now, <clears throat> you may think, well, I don't have all the parts. Just turn them over to get a right side, left side. The right side and the left side, just turn the piece upside down.
uh, in all the ports. Or need. Oh, that's it. All right. For time's sake, I'm going to be using a medium CA. I usually use uh, just plain old white glue or type bond. But for time's sake, I'm going to be using a medium this time. I'm going to put the little glue right there on the on that scrap piece and put it in place and glue it to place medium has about a 10 second your time so it's not too fast okay I need a toothpick <clears throat> way I can apply the glue with a toothpick Look, I like drying the piece first dry fitting the piece first then once it's got a dry fit Go ahead and put it in place. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Now I'll be right back. Hit pause. What I did was go get me a piece of cardboard. This is a, you can use cereal boxes or stuff. That, that This works really good. Because now I want to take that piece up that I just put down. And take that up. We'll lay it over here. I'm going to get a pencil. And then I'm going to trace out what I need. I'll get a pencil first. So that way I don't cut too deep. And I can see what I'm doing. That I don't overcut the part. I'm going to get a good fit. Or a good I need to take away some of this weight, extra weight that is really not needed. Okay. Can you see what I've done? <clears throat> now, lay it on the cardboard someplace where I can cut it. Using a very sharp blade, don't use a dull knife, but use a very new, new blade. I can figure out where I put my exact old blade. Oh, it's laying right here somewhere. There it is. There it is. And what I don't want to do is I want to cut that little line out very gently. Don't try to cut it all at once. Make multiple cuts. Gently press in. When you get to the glue area, don't try to force it. Cut little bitty bitty pieces at a time till you get all the way through. Just Be gentle. Cut just easy cuts until you get to the bottom. Can you see what I'm doing here?
I'm not trying I'm not trying to cut it all at one time. I'm just kind of barely shaped, pressing against it, and then making multiple cuts. Just chewing away at it. That one would come unglued. That's why super glue to me is useless. It dries brittle. It is faster, but it's junk. I just can't get along with super glue. You'll know if you be gentle, just try to make multiple passes. Okay, and then you can cut these pieces out. Probably wouldn't hurt to have cut them out before I started gluing them together. But it lets me make the same line all the way around. You will have hard pieces of balsa. It's a little bit harder to cut through some areas than others. Just make multiple passes, multiple little strikes, little strikes here. There. This adds what takes weight off the back of the model where you need it the most. Removed. Okay, let's put this back in place. And glue this piece back in. I may go back to using just the regular white glue because it just works much better. Super glue is too brittle. It sticks to your fingers. It's junk. In my opinion, in my opinion, it's junk. I can take, uh, these are an old bottle, it's, and it's plastic. And this is type bond that I put in a smaller bottle just to make it more convenient to deal with. Deal with. And we'll, we'll squirt some out. I'm using the red label type bond. It does require patience. It does require being being patient. Um, I mean, pull it all the way off. Look at there. That's more. There it is. Picking up a little bit of hot bone here. Pushing it into place. Making sure everything looks good on the plan. I'm going to put a little bit underneath that so it won't be moving around. Okay, there it is. That one's in place, and we're letting it dry. We'll take 20 minutes, but it will be glued very well. Okay. Where the other one, it gets brittle, super glue gets brittle, and it's very hard to sand, it's very hard to cut, it's very hard to deal with the the ca glue if you're in a hurry it works good it works good outside in in a repair situation super glue has its place i'm not saying i i hate super glue i like super glue for its the, the best for the right application i do
You see, this is heavy glue. No, nope. it dries out. The moisture so draws out of it. And then with the moisture drawn out of it, it is light. As light as any other glue. Okay, I will have to pause here and then give this self some time and then I'll come right back. Okay, I'm working on the tail section here. We went ahead and cut that piece out and I'm getting the tail section done. There's my microphone still on. Yep, it's still on. Um, we're going to keep pressing on, trying to get these pieces Put down. We got all these little pieces to slide into place. Make sure they're glued in. Uh, this uh, glue will be, is sandable, and if the if you use the CA, the CA is not too sandable. It's sand, It's hard to sand the CA. So we're putting down the pieces. I've used one stringer already. Oh. The stringers are heavy. It don't matter. It's just. We'll get it together as long as we can keep under the payload weight. We're going to try to shoot for that payload weight. I've not I fully measured the wing yet. We'll know eventually the wing payload. But I know I've took weight off the back already. So, cleaning up this. I'm adding each piece individually. Of course, I like to put it in place, draw a little line, bring it to the side. I use flat edge razor blade. If it's brand new and sharp, man, it cuts good. But if it starts getting dull, it squishes it like a die cut piece. So I got to get a new blade. Got to get dull, and then. Fine to me. We'll keep it going. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I've finished up the elevator horizontal stabilizer. <clears throat> I'm going to start the vertical stabilizer with the rudder. And before I Start. I'm going to go ahead and cut out the pieces first. I'm just going to cut these pieces out first instead of trying to glue them together and cut them out. It just works better. I'm going to cut this down to half the size anyway. Just, just begin. Draw my line first. Make sure I got something good to follow here. So I'm not know exactly kind of where I'm at when I'm cutting out the pieces and this is unedited so I can't just go back once once we get so far along in the video then it's I'm I've, I've finished up parts and I can't go back so I'll be cutting that out I'll be cutting each one of these rudder pieces out and trying to go slow i use a uh, i don't usually buy a bunch of extra exacto blades so what i do is i take a fine grit rock and give it a few swipes here and a few swipes here 
Make sure it's got a good sharp edge. Be careful sharpening your blade. Uh, if you slip, it'll poke you. Ask me why. I mean, don't ask me why. <laughs> okay. Then they can in, just don't try to cut it all at once. Just because the grain of wood will try its best to pull you. So just kind of make multiple paths. Keep getting deeper and deeper as you go. This be easy. I don't try. To, don't try to cut. I, my dehumidifier is turned on. Sorry about the background noise. And my wife's wanting to weed eat a little bit. I don't know why she wants to weed eat beside the house. But oh well. She wants to weed eat. I let her. <laughs> I ain't going to stop my wife from weed eating. I guess she wants to be on camera behind the scenes. <laughs> okay. But the dehumidifier is on. It is so hot. It's so humid. Using the pipe on glue will be a, take a little extra time to dry. I don't know if I'm sorry if I'm talking too loud. I'm not used to this new microphone, so I don't know what I'm saying that that loudly or how loud I'm speaking. Okay, I took off basically half its weight. By doing that. And I'm going to get this. All these pieces cut out. For the rudder. And. Then move on to the next step. Let's hit pause again. Okay. Let's say you uh, are not comfortable. With trying to cut something out like this. You can always wrap. Sandpaper. Around the little. Uh, brass tubes that you can buy. At the hobby shop. And then just, I don't like that much dust, but sometimes you can just take and you can sand away down to these areas where the line is. It just, to me, it's just too much dust and it's too, too, just creates too much, too much, too much. So I'm going to go ahead and continue cutting this out. Don't try to cut it out once, keep a lot pressure on the exacto knife making multiple cuts don't try to cut it all at one pass be gentle with your blade but firm and then just keep gentle cut Just take a minute, maybe. But it's better than trying to force it. And what happens is the wood grain will pull the number 11 blade and it will go, go the wrong direction. So make multiple passes, little, little bitty multiple passes, being gentle as you cut. And then what happens is it will cut out cleanly and it will leave a nice part that you'll be proud to. That you cut out and just cut all that off. So, by making little multiple passes, will allow you to trim these pieces down to get in the right place. We will be gluing these together. I got one more piece that I need this front piece. I don't think I'll cut that down. What I think I'll do is just put a little hole in it to lighten, lighten it up. Okay. Guys, that was the that was the video. It's a little lengthy, but I'm gonna try to do as much as I can in these videos to get on with the project. The next step will be the wing. I will build the wing. Thank you guys. Bye.